Good afternoon. We're back. And we are glad to be back here with you this weekend um, to share God's words. But I am so happy and so pleased that tonight we have with us Mr. Darnell Thomas. And he's our guest for the night, and he's going to talk about his, um, his program. It's called Focus, and he's going to explain it all to us. And it's a good program, and I hope you're listening. I do know Mr. Thomas a little bit. I know he's a godly family man. He has four children and one beautiful wife. So um, we're going to get into this program and, and let him tell us all about focus, okay? But before then, I would like to pray before we go on air, because I always say we want God taking the first step, and we're going to be behind him as he leads us into this service. So Heavenly Father, once again, I stand before you, and I come before you with thanksgiving in my heart, Lord, thanking you again for this opportunity. Father God, as we go into this service, we ask you to go before us. Let us say what you want us to say. And Lord, everything we say, let it glorify thee. We give you praise. We give you honor. This we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Brother Thomas, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm You're, doing great. And I want to say thank you so much for giving me your time because I know you're a busy man and I appreciate you coming on to share this information with us. I, I appreciate you for having me. Oh, glad to do it. Glad to do it. But my first question to you, Mr. Thomas, is so I can know, I mean, I know a little bit, but could you tell us a little bit about yourself and let the people introduce yourself to the people? Uh, absolutely. Uh, my name is Donnell Thomas, uh, 37 years old, and uh, I'm definitely a God-fearing man. I uh, do have a beautiful family, four kids, uh, pretty much all across the spectrum. I have an 18-year-old son, a uh, 17-year-old daughter, a 12-year-old son, and a 5-year-old daughter. So all the way up and down the uh, ends of the spectrum there. But um, uh, I, I'm currently, uh, I do work full time. I, I, yeah, you stated that I'm a <laughs> busy man, but yes, I'm definitely very busy. Uh, as far as what I do for a living, I do work at Capital One. I've been there for about six years uh, on the digital operations uh, department. Um, outside of that, I also uh, started Uber. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I, did, I did start Uber, uh, but I did do that to kind of um, help out with uh, what I also do, what we're here for, uh, Youth Focus. Uh, it is nonprofit, so uh, Uber, you know, those that uh, extra stream uh, or uh, additional stream of income definitely helps, helps out with uh, funding uh, Youth Focus. Um, but yes, you know, um, Youth Focus, it, it's, uh, it's my passion. Uh, I'm, my, my heart is in it. Uh, and I'm, I'm definitely excited. Wait, can uh, I ask you a question? Absolutely. How did you come up with the idea of focus? What, what was that driving force that took you there? So it, there were actually, uh, actually a couple of different things that uh, birthed uh, youth focus. Um, it started with myself. Um, when I graduated from high school, uh, my lifelong dream was football. I uh, wanted to play football. I was very good at football and um, always thought that the end result was going to be football. Uh, and, I, and, and like I said, I was, I was a very good athlete. Uh, I didn't have a lot of thoughts about college or what I was going to do after high school if football didn't right. work out. Right. Uh, so, um, my 11th grade year, uh, my 11th grade year at Lee Davis High School, uh, I was going to a football camp at um, University of Richmond. Mm -hmm. my, my cousin was actually uh, a football player there at the time. Um, he kind of let me in on what the coaches were saying. You know, they were impressed about my, uh, my athletic abilities, skills. Uh, at the time, again, I was only in the 11th grade, but they did uh, kind of let my cousin know that they were going to offer me a scholarship. So, of course, the good cousin that he was, <laughs> he, he kind of, you know, leaked it to me. And um, from that point, you know, I just had a one-track mind, you know, it was going to be, uh, okay, I'm going to University of Richmond. This is what it's going to be. And, uh, you know, I'll go, I'll do well. So that was my plan. And that was my only plan. Uh, didn't have a backup plan. Um, 
my senior year comes around and uh, that football season was over. It was right around January or February of uh, 1997. Um, the recruiter from University of Richmond uh, got offered a position from Boston College and he accepted, which, mean, which meant uh, University of Richmond brought in a new recruiter uh, and in the recruiting world, as far as sports is concerned, you know, they have their eyes on their players. They know who they want. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of missed out on the opportunity with him going back or accepting the position in uh, Boston College. So the new recruiter, he knew nothing about me. Um, and to make a long story short, I didn't wind up going to <laughs> University of Richmond. So here so, you stuck up there with this dream. With the dream. And... Turning down other opportunities right. and, uh, you know, so late in my senior year and that opportunity fell through the cracks. Oh, wow. But you know what? As you were talking, most children do that because as y'all know, I told you I'm a teacher. Most students do that. If they have the ability in basketball mm -hmm. or football, that's all they focus on. That's it. When I get out, I'm going to be an NBA player. I'm going to play football. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I'll be telling them on the side, that's good, but go to college and playing on the side, what else right. can you do? Right. So that's like most kids still have that dream if they have the ability to play well or whatever. Right. But your dream didn't come through for sports. It didn't come through so for sports. So it led you where? So, uh, so that didn't work out. Um, it led me uh, in a downward spiral, to be honest with you. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, downward spiral, uh, just didn't I had the opportunity to you know enroll in a few colleges but you know I just wasn't prepared my mind wasn't ready and I didn't want to waste my parents uh, money and I knew that was exactly what I was gonna do if I went to college at that time so I was just kind of stuck in a state of uncertainty um, just lost really uh, not knowing which way it was up <laughs> okay. which way I wanted to go um, and within that time uh, I actually ran across uh, a couple of young kids. Um, I was just pulling up to a McDonald's, just you know, going to get something to eat. Uh, they were on bikes, but they were outside of the door and they were asking for money, uh, you know, saying that they're uh, hungry. Okay. This is that's part two of what kind of made me say, you know, there's got to be a better way. Uh, you know, a lot of youth just need direction. Um, oh, that's so true. They so need, true. Yeah, and it, and it doesn't really matter if you're an honor roll student um, or if you're a student struggling with academics um, because the end result is you can be an honor roll student you make those great grades in school but you still have no idea of how to handle the real, the real world. world coming out uh, there right exactly right. so you know seeing those two kids and just having a conversation with them at that moment uh, you know, I just sat them down, got them something to eat, and just kind of had a couple of uh, a slight conversation with them about what it is that they want to do uh, with their lives. What is it, it? What has them in the position that they're in right now? Um, those things. So, um, my experience, you know, uh, how the ball bounced. You know, expecting the scholarship in football. And then in addition to running into these, uh, these youngsters at uh, the McDonald's and just kind of uh, grasping and understanding you know, where they're coming from and how they got there and where, where they're trying to go, that's kind of where youth focus was birthed. Wow. I wanted to do something. I wanted to play my part. You know, but you uh, know, we always say, we want something. We want it. We want something. <laughs> right? But that's not what God wants to do. That's not right. And so sometimes he have to take you through stuff. Mm -hmm. So you didn't know that day when you met those two kids, you were going to give birth to a focus. I had no idea. I had no idea. But see, God did. But he had to get you in a state where you was, you was put in a place where you had to talk to these two youth. You understood because you was in that position. So he's going, okay, this is an opportunity for me to lead here. And then here come focus. And youth focus was birth um, from an so idea. So what do what do focus mean? What is the what's the meaning? Is it just the word, or do you have some meanings behind the word? So it it's both actually. Okay. <laughs> it it takes focus uh, in in yeah. all of our lives, youth, right. youth and not. Right. Um, if you if you're determined to do anything, you 
will need focus and you'll need to be focused uh, on that task. But in, in, in um, as far as youth focus is concerned, the uh, organization, uh, focus is an acronym. Um, the F in focus stands for f futures. Uh, the O stands for organization. Mm. Uh, the C stands for character. U stands for unity, and the S is for success. And Amen. Yes, these are I like all. That. <laughs> I, I appreciate like that. that. But this is everything that we want to build, you mm -hmm. know, within the youth. Um, uh, that that's what the program uh, overall is pretty much about. You know, building the the youth's future. Building. So that's sort of like the purpose of you. Absolutely. Building their futures. Yeah, wow. absolutely. Uh, just creating that uh, that path, that blueprint for them. You know, we. It's going to take their determination. It's going to take, you know, everything uh, that's in them. You know, we, we're trying right. to pull it out, and then we're just trying to guide it. Right. Um, again, you know, a lot of the youth just need direction. Directions. Direction. Right. Well, let me ask you this. I, 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 I just, it just popped in my head. Being a teacher, um, do you ever work into the school go into the school systems, talk to counselors, um, to let them know about your, your, your focus, your point, so they will, if they have youth who sort of need a little somewhere else to go, that they can direct them to you? Um, that, that's a great question. Um, in the past, uh, in the past and at the start of Youth Focus, it, it was a lot of planning. You know, I'll talk to anybody. <laughs> it wasn't, hey. <laughs> it, it didn't, you know, parents, you know, uh, catch people on the street um, and from fundraisers, you know, just talk to anybody, just spreading the word about Youth Focus. Um, it was literally this past year uh, that I got into starting to infiltrate the school systems. Oh, awesome, um, awesome. I'm also, in addition to running Youth Focus, I just recently started uh, participating in Armstrong Leadership Program, uh, okay. ALP, and uh, I'm a mentor for one of the students at uh, Armstrong High School. Um, so in, in my opinion, there's, there's no competition when we're talking about nonprofits and we're talking about building up our youth. Um, we're all in this together. And yeah. If anyone else has the same common goal that I have, I want to partner with you. Right. I want to help you, and I want to uh, uh, hopefully, you know, get help uh, from you to help my organization. But right. together, cohesively, we can we will change lives together. Oh wow, that is so awesome! So here we got a man of God, a family man, a man that work, <laughs> <laughs> um, but also giving back to the community. And that's what it's all about. We, and I think that's where we are lying short mm -hmm. with our youth. So many times the streets is raising our children. The gangs are raising our children. So true. And we as parents need to get involved. This is a good program for parents to get involved and find out about. Because, you know, one day they will march across that stage. And then what? Life hits him. <laughs> right. Life hits you in the face, and you either going to have some type of leadership or guidance have guided you, your parents, or whatever programs you can get into. But this is something that, I, you know, as a young black man, it is good to see that you are taking your time and giving back to the community. Appreciate that. And I think the community need to give back to Mr. Thomas. You know, get into the program, find out what it's all about. And it's all about the kids. The way I'm hearing you talk, it's all about getting the children ready for life. It is. And that's a good thing. When you have someone that can work with your children, because I'm a preacher too, that can work with your children that's godly and want to do it, this is a great opportunity. And I would just stress wholeheartedly Get into it. Find out what it's all about. It might be something to help you keep your son, your daughter, niece, nephew, or whatever off of the streets. But um, I wanted, that's, a, that's another question I would like to ask you, too, is, well, how do you work with the families? Do you work with the family as a whole, or is it just working with the students? So uh, another great question. We, 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 we work with the student specifically. Okay. okay. We don't necessarily work with the family, but 
I do want it to be understood. It takes, we do need that family's help with that guardian, that parent. We do need their help to make sure that that child is staying engaged. Right. Uh, well, staying right. in right. tune uh, to the program. Because again, you know, uh, I know, I know what I want for the youth uh, of this world, but they, they may want it. The, the, the parent may want it, but I can't do it all for them. I right. can put the. I can give you right. the resources. I can right. give you the training. I can, I can, you know, feed feed you <laughs> some of my passion. But I can't take you where you want to go. Right. I can show you the way. Oh wow, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. And you know what? That it takes. They said take a village to raise a it child. It takes. It a takes everybody. It does. It takes everybody. It does. And if there is someone or something or a program like Focus that can help you and help your child. Why not jump into it? Because, you know, I, I also, like, I don't think I've told you this time, but I worked in a prison for seven years. And the prison was for the juveniles. I worked at a prison, and it was a juvenile prison. And my first day in on a job, I cried coming home. Mm. I had no idea. I knew I was going into a juvenile prison, but I had no idea I was going to see so many. <laughs> right. And it broke my heart. And then as I learned about them and the situation someone was in, I could mm -hmm. understand why they was in prison. And, and one, one of the students I remember saying, I had nobody to help me. Mm. He said, I had nobody to help me. So here is help, y'all. Here is focus. Focus can help you. Um, like he says, he's got a passion, but it takes the parents, as well as this child, to want it. You know, we, we want stuff for people, but they're going to have to want it too. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and, and it's great to know you're doing this. I mean, I think this is, this is awesome because I want to learn more about it too myself <laughs> before, um, before you leave. And so inside Focus, what do y'all do? Y'all provide what for the students? Okay, so, um, so what do we do in Youth Focus? Uh, I understand passion. Mm -hmm. And I also understand if you can find a career, if you can start a business, if you can do whatever it is that you are going to do within the real world, and we're talking about how you're going to support yourself, how you're going to provide for your family, if you can find something that is revolved around your passion, mm -hmm. you're not working. Ah. That's true. You're not working, but not only are you not working, but uh, when you're dealing with youth, it's hard enough to uh, to keep their attention. It's it's hard enough to keep them on track. But you have to. It's 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 it's, the, it's just the same way uh, when the child acts up, you take away the favorite thing that they love. Right. Right. So that favorite thing that they love. That's what we're gonna focus on. We're gonna focus on the passion. I don't wanna, I don't wanna spend any time on what's not gonna be effective, but I'm gonna uh, spend my time on what's gonna keep your focus. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna take your passion and we're gonna build that roadmap. We're gonna provide uh, training. We're gonna provide resources. Uh, we're gonna get you experience uh, in that field, whatever it is. Uh, we want to, uh, Internships, we try to work with uh, businesses within the community that will allow the students to come in and uh, do internships just so they can get the experience. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when kids go to college nowadays or when they're uh, going, uh, when uh, young adults are going for a job position, they're looking for either the, this much time in college or this much experience, not necessarily college. Mm -hmm. So if we can get, if you can start this program where we deal with high school students, if you started our program in the ninth grade, you could potentially have four years experience in whatever that field is or whatever your passion is around by the time you graduate. And you're, you're, you're one step ahead of that person entering college. Wow, that's awesome. For the first time getting, you know. That's awesome. And we want them to either, uh, we want, that experience to lead to whatever job field they move into, or want them to get this, get them to start their own business. Wow, that's awesome. 
That is really awesome. But what you said something, you said high school, so this is just for high schoolers. This is high school. So it's high not school. middle school and not, all that. Not middle school. That was a thought initially, but we did stick with high school only because uh, at that point, they kind of know more what they want to do or what they're interested, uh, interested in once they leave high school. Okay. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break. I promise you, I'm going I'm to beg Mr. Thomas to stay with me just a little bit longer because <laughs> I really want this to get out to you guys, and I really want you to, to, to consider the program Focus. And I like the name because we have to be focused to move on. So stay with me. Come back. Give me about two or three minutes, and I promise you we'll be right back. Before we went on our break, you was talking about it was for high school students only that you're working with. And as a special ed teacher, one of the things we do in the middle school, we try to get them focused mm -hmm. um, on careers or what they would like. So have you ever thought about extending it now that you've started it sort of to the middle schools Abs as well? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, initially, that's who we were targeting middle school and high school. Um, but because of you know lack of manpower to help run the program, we did kind of have to make a decision. We had to limit it to We had to limit uh, to high school. At that point, they, they know more uh, better than what they would know uh, from middle school as far as what their aspirations are, what they're really passionate about. But we definitely, in the future, will be incorporating middle school. Oh, that's great. Um, so, yes. I have, I have some kids I want to put in there. I got some grandkids. <laughs> Can I bring them? <laughs> Absolutely. Because I just asked her. Absolutely. She's graduating next year, and, I, and it's so funny. I asked her the past weekend, and I said, Asia, um, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. I'm going to college. I said, that's good. I said, what do you want to do? And she looked at me and went, um, um. I said, how are you going to college? You don't know what you're going for. So she's not focused yet. Not yet. <laughs> she'll she'll gonna, get focused. She's going to break my neck for calling her name or calling her out on the show. But, you know, looking at her, and I was just sitting here thinking, gosh, I need to get her in focus mm -hmm. because she truly don't. She said, I don't know. Right. She could never answer the question of what she wants to do. Can I, I want to add also, um, even in that moment when she says, um, and I don't know, uh, another part of the program I did want to mention, as soon as we bring them in, and I was telling you how we kind of gear it around their passions, sometimes they may have passion, but that they don't know their options behind that passion. Okay, okay. You know, there's still, you know, you might be, you might like art, but there's different forms of art. True. You might like music, but there's different forms of music and different things you can do around music. Uh, you can produce, you know, there's, so there's a lot. You can play instruments, you know, so right. there's a lot that you can do. But what, what we also do is uh, um, we have what we call a career cluster survey. So it's a series of uh, a bunch of questions, but it categorizes their interest. So it tells us what other fields they could possibly go into just based oh. off of things they like or how they answer those questions. And it may be some things that they haven't necessarily thought about, but that's the purpose of the cluster survey. So we can kind of generalize where their interests are outside of just what they're telling us. Wow, that mm -hmm. is awesome. Absolutely. That is awesome. So that's a way of getting them focused too. That's a way of getting focused. Or this is how you answer it. Correct. This is what we see. Mm -hmm. And you move from there. We'll move from there. It's like a plan. It's we a got plan. a plan now. It's a blueprint. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I got you. I got you. I like this. I like. This. I might be bringing my kids. <laughs> but um, you mentioned about internship and them working. What else do you offer specifically uh, in the program? Okay. So, uh, and this is gonna. This is actually something new. We've been doing a lot. This year has actually been the uh, the. 16, 17 school year. This was the first year actually running the program. Uh, it's definitely been a learning experience. All right. Um, so we, we found some takeaways as far as what we'll uh, keep moving forward with, some things that we'll uh, do away with. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, what we do have already planned for the 17, 18 uh, school year is a financial literacy uh, course syllabus. Um, what that's that, what be, that mean? Um, so we're basically going to be teaching these kids how to manage money. Oh. <laughs> How to save money. Can I take that class too? <laughs> right. 
how important credit is and oh, uh, wow. you know how to how to effectively run your business um, you know all those things will be included but saving money and and you know just being mindful of how you're spending your money how you're using your money and where we should be uh, you know how we can let our money work for us as well um, wow. So, yeah, financial literacy. That is so important. Oh, my God. Be, yeah. I'm going to tell a little something on myself. And I'm a little embarrassed, y'all, so I'm going to cover my face. <laughs> Don't be. I, um, I was out of school. I was married and working. Mm -hmm. And I went to the bank for a loan. And the guy asked me, do you know your credit score? And I'm sitting there going, What's a credit score? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea I had a credit score. Right. So teaching them that now, mm -hmm. that is so important. It is. That is so major because that little score run with you everywhere you go. Everywhere. <laughs> you everywhere. can't go get a car. What's your score? My, my, I, I thank my mother. Uh, if she's watching, if she sees this, uh, she definitely... Made sure we understood, don't you mess your credit up, you know. Uh, so it was something that I, I had in the back of my mind, you know. Um, wow, but do you know how many up. children, families do not talk? And I mean, not saying that my mom and them did anything bad or good, mm -hmm. but we never talked about credit, credit scores, and all that stuff. It so was important. never mentioned. So important. So I never knew what a, when the man asked me, I told him, I said, I don't know what it is. I had no idea. And then... That particular day, he told me what it was and mm -hmm. how it worked. So I had a banker to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want you to feel bad because I, w I had actually, I was out of high school and it was in that transition period where I, you know, okay, I'm not going to be doing the football thing. I'm not sure what I want to do, but I did have a job and it was an okay job, but I was enrolled in a 401k plan, who, which I knew nothing about. I just signed a bunch of papers when I... Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, got the job, and when I left the job, they were like, "Well, hey, what, what do you want to do with this 401k?" And I'm, I'm, I'm like, "401 who?" And they said, "Well, you got this money." And I'm like, "Well, how much money do I have in that 401k?" <laughs> but you know, not knowing, um, right. I had this and what it was for, and what uh, you know how it could help me later on in life. Um, it was just something I just, you know, was ignorant to. So uh, that's something else, you know, we'll be teaching uh, within that financial that literacy program. That is awesome. I love this. I, I y'all don't love it. I love it. Um, <laughs> so you you help them get internships. You you, you gonna teach them about money, teach them about credit, money. Mm -hmm. and savings. That is awesome. Don't forget the ten percent go to God. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Your first ten. Time. That's right. Tied. <laughs> right. <laughs> and tutoring. Y'all, I, I, I understand you do tutoring and mentoring and counseling with them as yes. well. Yes, and that's, that's really on an as-needed basis. Okay. Um, right. Okay. So, uh, again, the, the focus of the program is to, you know, what are, you, what are, what are your interests post-graduation? But you do have to keep your academics straight as well. Oh, so, awesome. So if you're that's falling right. behind in academics or there's just something you need extra help with, that's something they're going to have to communicate with us. You know, it's something we'll ask. Taking responsibility. To, taking responsibility. For what they need. Taking responsibility. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna hold your hand, but we, you know, you know, once you cross that stage, you know, we, you, you, you're in the real world. Well, I always have a saying with my kids and my grandchildren. When they say, they come to me and say, uh, Grandma, can you give me money? I say, uh-uh. Mm <laughs> no, I said, you asked me, do is there something you can work for? Right. You don't just go ask people for money. That's awesome. You say, I noticed your grass need cut and I need money for such and such. Can I cut your grass? I said, you just don't, but look, can you give me some money? So that's how I, I teach my that's grandchildren. That's awesome. That's awesome. And that's a good thing because teaching them responsibility. Mm -hmm. So focus is going to teach them about money. Absolutely. Getting ready to go out in college, getting ready to go out in the real world, right. but also teaching them to be responsible for what they need. Speak up for what you need and be willing to ask. And also giving back. Now, once you get what you need and you're at that point, um, there we, you go. We, we do a, we, as a nonprofit, I want you all to understand we do a lot of volunteering ourselves. Okay. Um, well, me personally, definitely, but I, I try to incorporate it within the program as well just to bring, bring light to those students. Everyone's not as fortunate. Right, uh, right. As you or I may be. Right. Um, so, you know, we, we fed the homeless, uh, you know, just ride Richmond oh. and hand out bags of lunches. Awesome. Um, but they do get a sense of 
gratitude, you know, just right. knowing that they're helping. Right. Uh, and then when they, the, the, uh, the gratitude from those individuals that we are helping when, you know, those students, when they see it, right. and that person, you know, looks them in the eye and says, thank you. Right. That's, it, that's, it, it touches that's, them. Right. And, and um, yeah, we, we definitely want to make sure we're giving back. That is awesome, teaching them how to give back. You have, but now you need to give back to help someone else. Exactly. I live by the, um, when I teach in the college, and I'm at the prison with the women now, and I tell them we're going to be crabs in a bucket. Mm -hmm. I said, everybody know when one crab gets to the top, another one will jerk yeah, him back down. Yeah. <laughs> I said, well, we're going to reverse it. We're going to be crabs in a bucket. If you get your GED, and you know you got three or four more ladies behind you, but then you come back in here and, pull them and you help me. So you're reaching back and you pull it. I said, we're mm -hmm. going to have a sisterhood. Mm -hmm. Pull your sister with you. Don't knock her back down. Pull her with you. Love so it. that's the way That's the way I'm seeing you teaching these children. Absolutely. To give back. Help somebody. You got here now. And then look back and see who else you can help. It's important. Yes, it it's is. And, I, and you know, some adults need to know that. It, they do. We can all learn. We can, we can all, all learn, learn from mm -hmm. something. But, but I know um, we've been talking a lot about focus. Tell me some of the events, like schools out. Do you have any special events coming up that we can participate in or whatever? We do actually have a, an event coming up um, this weekend, <laughs> as oh, a matter wow. of fact. Uh, so what I, what I like to do, you know, the kids, they do work hard all school year. Right. Um, so we try to have some sort of outlet, uh, you know, end of year celebration, uh, so to speak, type of deal for them. Uh, so this weekend we have the not back to school, but back to summer jam. Ah, <laughs> back to summer yeah, jam. So it's back to summer, you know, no more uh, school, no more classes. But um, yeah, it's going to be at Lee's Park. Uh, my family, uh, they own a private park out in uh, Mechanicsville, Virginia, but uh, there's a, you know, huge pool, uh, nice size pavilion. We're just going to cook out, oh, wow. burgers, hot dogs. Can I come Some, too? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I would love to come. <laughs> come on down. Come on down. Um, that's from 3 to three to 7 uh, this weekend. I want uh, to make sure people heard this. Now it's going to be where? Now listen up, y'all. Listen. So it's actually uh, at Lee's Park uh, in Mechanicsville, Virginia. And uh, that is going to be 4068 Rock Hill Road, and it, it will be from 3 to 7 p.m. Um, now, if you are interested, um, just we want to make sure we can feed everyone. <laughs> so okay. if you are interested, uh, just RSVP, um, and you can do that by either... Um, you can go ahead and give your me, information. Okay, yeah. You can either give me a call personally. Uh, my number is 804-237-2703. Uh, or you can uh, drop us an email, uh, and you can do that at info at youthfocusrichmond.com. Okay. Give us that number one more time. Okay. That number is 804-237-2703. And uh, if you'd like to leave an email, again, that can be done info at youthfocusrichmond.com. Okay. I hope... If you're listening out there, my prayer is that you're going you're gonna to contact Mr. Thomas. You're going to give him an opportunity to work with your child, to help them get focused on what they want to do in life, even if it's just going to college, helping them do that. But before I, I, I leave with you, it's one thing I read um, about your business. said you do fundraisers. Yes, ma'am. And proceeds, part of the proceeds goes to the children, or am I saying the right children, or should I say students? We can go with students, but they are still our children. Right, okay. <laughs> However you want to um, it. Well, with the students, part of the proceeds go to them, too. Yes. So I want to know how that happen, how you do that. Okay, so fundraising, because we are a, a nonprofit group, uh, fundraising is a huge part of the program as well. Um, when we fundraise... 50% of the proceeds goes directly back into the program. Uh, we need those funds to help run the program. Um, the other 50% of the proceeds are broken down uh, between the students, and that percentage 
you know, if we had 50% and, you know, it was five students, then they're getting 10% of those proceeds pretty right. much. Um, and that's going to go directly into an account uh, for that specific student. Okay. So the objective is the more we fundraise, the more the more your, their account is going to increase, the more we can do with youth focus. But So it's not money they just take out to spend. Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. They're, they're, okay, but did you say they're getting pro I thought you just give them the money. No, there, there's a method okay. to the madness. So okay. the intention, the objective is hold on to that. You know, we're going to be teaching them about how to save, but hold on to that. At the end of each school year, they have an option. They have an option to either, because maybe they don't want to stay in the program. Maybe okay. it's just not for them. Okay, well, you have this in your account. Uh, if you want to take that and, you know, do what, what, what you will, right. you, you earned it through, uh, you know, fundraising and volunteering, that's yours. But if you stay in that program, from ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade, all those funds that you had saved up in that account, the objective is to have a nice size nest egg that you can apply to uh, college expenses or business startup. Wow, mm -hmm. that is so awesome. Yes. So they, they know up front, you're not getting this cash, boo boo. Right, <laughs> right, right. But you know what, that is so great. Right. That is great, you can have it. So like a savings account. It's pretty much a savings account, but you're, you are, we're volunteering. I consider when they assist the program with uh, our, volu um, not volu I'm sorry, our fundraising events, you know, they are putting in work. We do require the students to be present for those fundraising events. Okay. Um, but that goes back to that acronym of FOCUS that you in Unity, you. we're showing you how to work together. Oh, okay, wow. so that's where that wow. unity piece comes in. We, we're going to show you how to work together. We're going to show you how to be involved in the community, uh, be involved in the community. Um, so that's where that you piece uh, comes in. Um, but wow, this is awesome. Yeah, um, and we also, so you know, awesome. even those fundraisers, just to get that. Uh, all right, so the acronym, the focus acronym, the O, uh, organization, uh, how we build organization. We allow those students to. Um, project lead or project manage you know certain events so you're going to run this uh you're actually going to run this project you're going to tell me or tell who the other students what our job is and what we need to do and this is these are <laughs> leadership skills right oh, great. <laughs> leadership skills so you're not only uh gaining leadership experience but guess what? You actually ran that event. Now, oh, you're an event planner as well? Look at all, at, at all these accolades and all right. these things that you're getting under your belt. Um, but yeah, that's just, um, just to point out, you know, other things that we do and how it affects uh, their growth and, and the objective, you know, we're trying to get them to reach. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome program. Y'all, come on now. Y'all, you know, we're always looking for things for our children to do. Perfect. He got it set up. He waiting for you. The <laughs> door is open. Come on, go on in the door. Right. Um, it's an open invitation to you. Take advantage of something like this. Take advantage of it. Give your child every opportunity to succeed in this world. Because this world is rough right now. Things are hard. <laughs> Things are so hard. if you got a way to give them a step up, take that step. And, you know, even with your child going, who knows? You might learn something, too. Absolutely. It might help the family. They might not be um, in there all the time, but the children got to go home. The children do have to go And they're going to talk about they're it. They're going to talk about it. And hopefully the parents ask them about it. <laughs> That's right. And they can be learning from their child. Communication is key. Yeah. This is so awesome. I love it. I love it. And I promise you I'm going to talk to you a little bit more after you leave. So where is Focus? And how can we, well, you gave me your number. How can we contact you? So where is the location? All right. So uh, the, right now we do not operate out of a building. Okay. Um, so our group meets. Uh, we reserve uh, library space mm -hmm. um, around the city. Uh, currently, we've been uh, using um, Meadowdale Library out in Chesterfield, but uh, we do have access to mm -hmm. libraries around Richmond. Um, so we've just been using meeting space there. Um, most of our events are, you know, out in the community, so we don't necessarily need the building for those specific events. Um, 
So we are working on a building though, but that's where the fundraising comes in. That's where the donations and our sponsors, you know, that's why we, we need the funds so we can eventually have somewhere we can call home. Um, as far as a website, uh, our website, uh, we do have a website, right. but it is, we are updating or making updates currently to it. Uh, you can visit it, but you'll just get a coming soon or under construction uh, type of message. But that website is www.youthfocusrichmond.com. All right. I hope y'all are writing down this stuff because I am. <laughs> <laughs> and, and again, the email address, if you wanted to just, uh, if you're interested in being a volunteer, we, we, we always need help. And if it's not for, uh, you know, an event this weekend or the event this weekend, you know, if, you, if we can just have your name to just email you to let you know when events are going on, right. um, you can just say whether you're available or not. Um, but we would love to get your information and you can simply uh, email us at uh, info at youthfocusrichmond.com y'all take it take advantage of this because this is this sound like an awesome program and like i said we need this this is the kind of stuff we need mm -hmm. we need somebody teaching our youth about getting ready for the future right don't get up and be going um um and um is not going to get you there not going to get you there <laughs> it's not going to get you there and you know even for the young guys i'm going to just even the girls i should say that cuz they play sports too Mr. Thomas told you about his dream to be into sports, but it didn't happen. And he said he was stuck out there and not quite knowing, if I'm saying it wrong, which way to go. And he knows from the experience of that. And I know for a fact, because my little grandson thinks he's going to be a rapper. Mm -hmm. And I'm asking him, how you going to get there? <laughs> how you plan to get there? Right. You know, that's, that's a way to go. But you have your dreams. There's nothing wrong with dreaming. We're not telling you not to dream and to hope for something. But have a backup plan. Always have something. If this doesn't happen, well, what else can I do? And seem like focus is a good place for you to start. They help you pinpoint areas where you might could work in or be in and, and get going in. It teaches you leadership. We, you need to learn how to be, be leaders. You don't want to always be the follower. Learn how to take the step to be the leader of the pack, not just running behind the pack, okay? And that's a good thing. Money, I love the one he said about financial education. That is so important. And like I said, even some grown folks, <laughs> we still need financial education too. But if you can get it while you're young and understand you have a credit score, and that score is going to follow you in everything you do. I'm going to buy me a car. But guess what? That credit score is going to determine how much of a percentage is going to be on your loan. Mm -hmm. You're either going to pay a little, little percentage mm -hmm. or you're going to pay a one that's bogus, 23% loan. And if you don't understand how to break down percentages, uh, ask somebody <laughs> because it can mess you up. You, you're thinking you're getting a deal and you're not. Mm -hmm. So financial... Teaching is very important. Learn your credit score. Learn how to save. Learn how to tithe. You give God his. He said he would open a window and pour you out a blessing. So your first 10% go to God. So let me just throw that in there. Mm -hmm. But learn how to save. Learn how to hold on to stuff. Don't every dime you get, you don't have to go spend it as soon as somebody give it to you. And that's a learning that's a learning um, thing, and this is what Mr. Thomas is doing. He's going to teach you that, and that's very important. Focus. Y'all remember that word, focus. So every time you hear it, think about Mr. Thomas and what he has presented to us tonight. This is a great program. Phone number again, 804-237-2703. Give him a call. I promise you he's waiting to hear from you. He wants to hear from you. And... Hopefully there's a lot of youth, but I, you know what? I can see, you say you don't have a building yet? I can see a building. Mm, speak that. <laughs> I can speak see that. a building. Mm -hmm. I can see youth growing. Mm -hmm. You just get ready for them. They coming. Mm. And if anybody out there like working with the youth, Mr. Thomas said this is a, this is a, um, what kind of organization? A non-profit. Um, non-profit non organization. But you know, everything needs money. You know, everything you do, we got to have money to do it. So if you want to, can I just put this out there? If anybody want to donate time, 
money. Let's do that. It's for our children. It's to help them. Be willing to say, here, here's, if it's nothing but $2, fine. God took five fish and five, two fish and five loaves of bread, and he fed thousands. Mm. And you know what? He can take $2 and make it millions. So come on, let's, let's try to help Mr. Thomas in this and helping him help our children. And that's the main thing. Help them get on the road, um, keeping them off the streets and, and giving them a way, a sense of responsibility for themselves. Let them see the good in themselves. And this is a good program. Focus. But as, as usual, before I leave, I will tell you this too. If anybody out there would like to give their life to Christ, this is your time and your opportunity. Call me. I'm willing to stay after to talk with you, speak with you, pray with you. Um, so although we're talking about focus, I do not want to forget to extend the invitation to God to you. This will be your opportunity to do that. And we're willing to help you. Um, Mr. Thomas, you, you just don't know um, how much I appreciate this. Um, you coming on and talking about focus. I really, really appreciate that. I really do. Thank you for your time. Thank you for my, giving back. My pleasure. Can you, can you do this? I can, I can do that. Okay. Can do that. But guess what? We're going um, to be going off air soon. Again, focus. Find out where it is. You got an event coming up this weekend. That would be a great opportunity for you to go out, meet with other children, meet with Mr. Thomas, meet probably some of the other volunteers. Plenty of food going to be available for you. Lots of fun. Kids like fun. So, you know, kids like going to events. Why not take them to one that's going to be safe and somewhere that's organized and you can talk and greet each other. So 804-237-72703. That's Mr. Thomas' con uh, contact number. Give us the email one more time if you don't mind. Email. Uh, you can email us at info at youthfocusrichmond.com. All right, and don't forget www.youthfocusrichmond.com. Now, we have given you the numbers, we have given you the emails, we have given you the website. So come on, and let's do our part. And let's help this young man, too. Let his dream come true. So we're getting ready to go out, but we're going to ask Mr. Thomas to pray us out, if he don't mind. Let's bow our heads. Uh, Lord, just coming to you right now, first and foremost, just want to say thank you, thank Lord God. You. We want to thank you for all that you've done, all that you're doing, and all that you're going to do in our lives, Lord God. We just thank you for continuously showing us mercy. We thank you for continuously showing us your grace. We ask right now in the precious name of Jesus that you would continue, continue to guide us, Lord God. Continue to uh, put, put it in our heart, to, the want to do your will, Lord God. We ask that you would just continuously walk with us, Please. guide us, yes. continue to lead us, Lord God. This, these and all other blessings we ask in your name, Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you, Mr. Thomas. My pleasure. My um, pleasure. Focus. Don't forget it. Focus. Talk to Mr. Thomas. Call Mr. Thomas. 804-237-2703. Give him a call. And I promise you, you will be glad you did. Please come back and be with us next week. The, um, next week is our final week um, for this year. I'm praying that one day I will have more. But um, come back next week. We'll love to have you. God bless you. Keep you safe while you're on your journey. See you next time.